Metal Up World, this is CJ, the Metal Motivator, with CJOrtiz.com and MetalMotivation.com. This is the first of a new five-message series I'm doing on metal health, survival of the fittest. Metal health, man, survival of the fittest. We want you to stay on the planet for as long as we possibly can. Now, I'm well into my middle age years, man, and the older you get, the more that mortality seeps into your mentality. You can see the end a whole lot closer than before. And I, I keep an eye out for people who are 20, 30, 40 years older than I am. I look at the condition that they're in and I say, is that what I want? Is that the way it has to be? And it's not the case at all. So for years now, I've been doing everything I can to keep myself in the very best condition that I could possibly be in. Nutrition, physical exercise. Now, throughout this series, I'm not going to advocate necessarily for a particular diet, even though I do follow one. I'm not necessarily here to advocate for a particular training style, although I do one. There's tons of stuff out there that you can do. There's paleo diets. There's, you know, plant-based diets. There's a ketogenic diet. You have cross training. You have strength training. You have just regular weight lifting and cardio aerobic type of exercise. People doing yoga, people just jogging, people just walking, whatever it is that they do. But your quality of life, man, is going to be determined by what you're doing with your body right now. That means physical exercise, and that means what you put in it. And yes, man, I used to think years ago, you know, somebody was to tell me, dude, what's going on in your body determines so much of the way that you feel and think about yourself. I just said, man, maybe, I guess. I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. So wrong. And when I do one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do not believe, and I'll tell somebody this up front, that I can't really help you. I can't really help you like you want to be helped if you're not willing to get your diet together. I can't really help you if you're not willing to devote yourself to physical fitness. I'm just telling you right now, because what's going on in your body, I guarantee you, if you were to change your diet, could probably clear up anywhere between 30 to 50% of the physical ailments that you deal with, as well as the emotional and psychological ailments that you deal with. And I'm not kidding you. I've seen more people manage their anxiety, manage their stress, manage their depression through diet and exercise. Did I, did I say it cured it? No, I didn't say it. Some people have, okay? I, I have someone very near and dear to me that put their lupus into remission. I know people who've put cancer into remission. You've probably heard of instances like that. Maybe you've seen some of the documentaries where they show you the damage that we're doing today with processed foods and sugar, carbohydrates, gluten, etc. You have to get yourself together physically. You need to pay attention to your nutrition. You need to pay attention to your physical fitness. Your quality of life now and in the future depends upon it. I want to put on a measure of muscle mass so that because I know that stuff is going to go into atrophy and deteriorate when I get older. I want to keep as much of it as I possibly can so that I can take care of myself so I don't have to lean on other family members to take care of me into my senior years. You can do that too. You can change so much about your life right now if you just change the way you eat and change the way that you exercise or begin to exercise if you're not doing it right now. That's going to be my challenge to you throughout this series. We have to survive. We have to thrive. We have to do so much more and live so much better than we are right now. You would be amazed, I guarantee you, at just how much your emotions are affected by what you eat. How much your emotions are affected by what you eat. The damage that's being done right now by sugar, carbohydrates, gluten, and the rest of it is startling. It's crushing people. People are getting diabetes at record rates. People are obese in numbers we've never seen before. Heart disease, off the charts, low testosterone, dysfunctions of all kinds, uh, uh, adrenal fatigue, People are sick, sick, and sick, and they're suffering for it on an unprecedented scale. We've never seen anything like this. And yet, we live at the apex of modernization, don't we? We live at the apex of technology and our knowledge of science and what have you. Well, what good is it doing if there's not a change right here? What good is it doing if there's not a change in our heart and the way we operate and the way that we function? We're so good in terms of our modern technology that we've made food itself automated. 
We've made food itself something you take off the shelf just like you do a new television. Just like you do a new television. We've lost touch with what's going on in the ground. We've lost touch with the things that are already here that are designed to keep us healthy and to keep us thriving. We look for imitations. We look for it out of a bottle or a tube or a box. We look for it out of a drive through And we say, oh, it's all right. I'll start my diet next week. Oh, that's all right. No, man, you can't keep putting this off. You cannot keep putting this off. Your life depends on it. What do you want your quality of life to be when you get older? How do you want to live, man? You know what I mean? That extra carrying that extra typewriter around your waist is so hard on your heart. And the things that it does, the stuff that's going on in your body right now, and you have no idea, no idea the damage that's being done. And you won't know until those severe symptoms begin to manifest. Pretty soon, you know, you've got heart disease. Pretty soon, you've got clots. Pretty soon, you know what I mean? You've got stuff going on with your adrenals. You're fatigued. You're worn out. Your testosterone is barely on the charts. Your, your hormones are everywhere. Cancer, pre-diabetic, diabetic, Alzheimer's, and the rest of it. That's pretty scary stuff. Pretty scary stuff. But guess where it comes from primarily? Our food. All those pretty packages, all that stuff in that greasy bag, that's where it all comes from. That's where it all comes from. We have to change the way we look at things. We have to change it, you know, the way um, we treat ourselves daily. And you can create a habit. It's not a big deal. You can create a habit of healthy living, you know, healthy dieting, exercise, and all this stuff. So that's what I want to talk about all this week in this series, Metal Health Survival of the fittest. I hope you would like to join me. Now, I always show the first episode for free right here on my website or Facebook page, wherever you're viewing this YouTube channel. I show the rest of them in my private group, which is called Life Domination Online Coaching Program. It's very easy to join, very inexpensive. It'll give us a chance, you and I, to work together, watch all the videos, and you and I get to talk about it, as well as a bunch of other people in there that are just like you, very motivated. So if you'd like to learn more about how to join, just visit the link below, metalmotivation.com forward slash life domination coaching. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.